Hello, welcome to a maker's studio. I am Cheryl and I create over on the Home Woman Making Facebook page, but I'm on a maker's studio site today because I got to show you a really cute project. So if you have any um, clothes laying around, jeans, or something new that you just bought and you want to kick it up a notch, watch this. So today I want to show you something with the stencil called But First Flowers. Look at all the detail in there. Now I am a flower aholic. <laughs> I love everything flowers, whether they're real, fake, or in design. As you hop on, also let us know where you're watching from. Um, let us know if flowers are blooming in your area. Some of you have snow, some of us have our um, spring flowers popping up. And also, don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial so that you can be in the giveaway for this particular stencil. So I love it because this is an all over pattern stencil. There's no words on it. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of detail in it. Because it's a tri-mesh stencil, there is a lot of detail in here that you can't get with a regular plastic stencil. So here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to take a jean jacket that I have had for a while and I am going to stencil on it. So our gel R ink was always formulated for fabric and now I'm going to show you how to use it on fabric and this is a jean jacket. So what I'm going to do is anytime you're using the ink or any of our products just make sure you have something underneath it. I do have this little clear um, plastic thingamajig under there so there is something because when you're dealing with some like a fabric like this that has um fiber it can go through the the other side so i don't want to get it on my table now what i'm going to do to prepare for this project is i am going to tape it off and the reason being is i don't want to get my stencil and the gel or ink on the perimeter. So just to be safe, I'm going to take some tape and I'm going to mask it off. There is a little bit of a, I guess it's a seam on here, but it has an, an edge. So I just want to be mindful that I don't get it up on that. So I'm just going to mask it off. This is regular, just frog tape. Um, I know it's yellow, but it's a special kind. I think it's a delicate surface. That's what I had, but you could use any tape to do this. This is one way to keep from getting any ink where you don't want it to go. So yes, our gel R ink was formulated for fabric, but as you've seen, we've used it on wood, paper, a bunch of different surfaces. But when you do use it on fabric, it needs to be heat set. And I will explain that to you in a second, what that means. Because this will be permanent. I'll be able to wash this jacket and anything else that you put the gel art ink on with a stencil. So one last piece of tape, and then I am pretty happy with where it's all going to be blocked off. So here's what I'm going to do. If you're new to a Maker Studio line of stencils, these are a tri-mesh stencil. They are adhesive and they are reusable. So they come in the sleeve and it has a little cardboard backing in the sleeve just to stabilize the stencil, which is that. Whoops. And since this is a try mesh it is on another backing because of the adhesion so i'm going to take that off <laughs> oh my tape's getting stuck so it's attached to a backing as you can see and this is tacky and that's where the adhesion comes from and that's also how you are able to reuse it time and time again save that little backing to store it back on there. So what you want to do is make sure everything is flattened out before you place your stencil. 
and I'm just going to line this up. So with the fact that I taped it off, I will not be getting any of the gel or ink where the tape is. And that's exactly what I wanted. I didn't want to get it anywhere other than the center back of this jacket. So I'm going to burnish it down. Now, since this is a soft surface, I do highly suggest make sure you're doing it on a hard surface because you really don't want any give. So just make sure when you do do it on fabric, whether it even, it eats, it's even a tea towel or anything, just make sure you cover your surface and also make sure your underneath is hard. So I'm just making sure it's all flattened or burnished against the fabric. Now, let me just make sure it's under that particular little piece of plastic. Because another reason why you want to keep something under there is you don't want it to smear in the back of your uh, project, especially if it's fabric. So if you are just joining me, I am Cheryl from on the Home Am I Making Facebook page. And if you just hopped on, we're going to be using some Gel Art Ink and a Maker Studio stencils to jazz up a jean jacket. Also, don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial below so you can be in the giveaway for this fabulous stencil. So what I'm going to do, when I do do something on a soft surface, I prefer to use this type of spreader. Um, it gives me more control and I feel like I can press harder and it's got more of a straight edge that I can get into the fibers. So what I do is because this is big, I do want to cut it just to have more control of the product and the spreader. I am going to use the gel art ink and like i said gel art ink is formulated for fabric but we can use it on paper and we can use it on wood and we can also use it on fabric so this is a multiversal multi versatile product love it this color is called well i declare i am using the white version of the gel art ink because i want the contrast between this jean jacket which is a pretty dark navy so here's what i'm going to do I like the less is more approach, so I'm just going to add as I need to the product to the back of the spreader as I need it. I do have a little bit. I'm going to hold the fabric down and I am going to then spread it into the stencil. You can almost hear that noise, which means it's definitely going through. So I'm going to just add more as I go along. The reason why I like to do that is especially with these um, containers that the Gel Art Ink come in, you can't get your product back in there. So I prefer to use less so I don't waste it, but I also prefer to use less just because I don't want to flood the stencil at any time. As you can see, all the design coming out now as I'm doing this, love it. And I love, I just love the pattern stencils. There are so many things you could do with them. We have a bunch of them in the a Maker Studio line. Also, all these products that I am using are up in the description of this tutorial. So you could see and look at all of the products that I'm using. See how much detail that is giving? I also, if you are new to these stencils, the way that you would care for them is when I'm done with this, I personally am going to go put it in a bath of water that I have sitting right there. And that's only because I'm not getting up from my seat to go wash it, but you would go run this underwater as soon as you're done with it, because all this product that I'm putting in the stencil, you want it removed from the stencil so that it doesn't impede the mesh of the stencil, which is where the design is, the next time you go to use it. So if you just rinse out this product as soon as you're done, Then you lay the stencil sticky side up and let it air dry. You'd put it back onto the backing that it originally came with, and then you'd slide it back into the sleeve, and that's the only care for these stencils. Don't wait 
after you apply this product to do that. Just do it right away. And because I'm on a live, I just always just have a little bath of water next to me because if I put this in the bath of water, the product isn't going to dry until I get off of this tutorial. And that's why I do that. Otherwise, I would just get up and go rinse it under the sink. So just check in to make sure I have it all where I need it. These are also washable. I'm going to put that into the water bath. And now I am going to peel up the stencil, which is my favorite part. And you will see all that detail. Love it. So all that product that's in there is what you need out. You'd go rinse it off. I'm just going to lay it into this water tub of water that I have right here. And because it's watered, it's just going to not dry in there. That's all I do. But you would go get up and do it. Now I'm going to peel these off. And you have a really, really fabulous design on the back of this jean jacket. Isn't that fabulous? So think outside the box. You might even have something that you want to jazz up in your stash, your clothes right now. Or if you buy something new and you want to go ahead and um, kick it up a notch, the stencils. Now, what you would do with this particular uh, project right now, let it dry. Let it dry. I like to let mine dry overnight, but four to five hours and this will all be dry. Then when it's dry, you would take a clean cloth, something like a dish towel, and you would cover this and you would take an iron and go over it with no steam and just keep going over it. And that will set this product into the fiber of whatever you're putting it on. You do that when you do tea towels, anything that you wanna wash. So when this is completely dry, I will put this over the top of it and I will take a hot iron and go over it for a few minutes. No steam is needed. And you would just keep doing that. And that's how you heat set this into the fiber of the material so you could be able to wash it and have it of the beautiful design forever. So I wanna show you something that I also did real quick. Now that's an all over pattern stencil, right? It's got detail upon detail upon detail. So sometimes all it takes is a little part of a stencil. So we have this big stencil, it's called season. And it says there is a season for everything. When I was looking at it, I liked these flowers that were around here. I like the detail of these flowers. So what I did is took another pair of jeans and I just put a little bit of that design on the back pockets. So simple, if you have a Maker Studio stencils, think outside the box, you could use little pieces of all stencils, even if they're holiday stencils and they just won't show holiday. This is just a little outline of some flowers that I just put on the back of each pocket. So just a little detail sometimes is all you need. This has got a lot of detail and it adds such a great look to the back of this jacket. So I hope, this inspired you to go get some jeans or some even a shirt maybe a pocket t-shirt and put a stencil on it using the gel art ink don't forget to cover your surface and don't forget to I will tell you when I did this I did put something in the pocket so that it doesn't bleed through so whatever you're doing make sure you put something underneath it and make sure it's on a hard surface that's just the requirements also, don't forget to clean your stencils directly after you use them. Don't wait or, or, or take a bath of water and put it to the side. But if you're at home creating, just go and rinse them off. Lay them sticky side up till it air dries. And then you will be putting it back on the little sleeve that it came with or the little backing that it came with and put it right into that sleeve. That's all there is to maintaining these reusable adhesive stencils. So I hope this inspired you. Doesn't that look fabulous? That is such a great stencil. Love all the detail. And um, I hope this inspired you to go and create some 
wardrobe pieces that you want to kick up a notch. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Don't forget to tag three friends and share this tutorial.